So this video is going to be a product review uh, for the Ford Innovations F4i fuel pressure regulator. Uh, so this is their top shelf Mamma Jamma regulator. Um, so first I'm just going to go over some of the differences and benefits of this regulator and what you can do with it. Alright, uh, to kick it off, it's an all billet CNC construction. Uh, it's all really top of the line products. Um, if you don't haven't had experience with four, uh, they don't mess around when it comes to quality and design. So, good stuff. Um, so it's adjustable base pressure is from 25 to 70 psi. Um, and your adjustment screw is on top. It has a uh, lock nut, so you would loosen that counterclockwise and then use a hex key to fine tune. It's a fine pitch thread uh, to tune your base pressure. And then you lock it back down with the nut. So that's how you adjust pressure. Uh, when you do adjust pressure, you want to do it with the uh, car not running, so no engine vacuum when you're using a booster vacuum map reference on the port here. And we'll go over that in a little bit. But uh, So it's got a ceramic coated stainless valve inside. Um, and some of the improvements of this uh, design geometry is it's, uh, it has an improved valve and cavity you know, design and it improves accuracy at, uh, at higher flow rates. Uh, so that's one of the benefits. Uh, it's temperature stable to plus or minus one PSI for every 100 degree change in fuel temperature. Pretty good. Um, the valve design is zero chatter. The spring is fluoropolymer coated. Um, so that basically means it's a basically a carbon fluoride bond to the uh, spring material. And what that is, it's just highly resistant to solvents, acids, chemicals, stuff like that. Um, it's compatible with all fuel types, has a lifetime warranty from four innovations, and the diaphragm uh, is also a fluoroelastomer Nomex design. Uh, fluoroelastomer is basically a synthetic polymer. It's, it's extremely strong um, and resistant to temperature and uh, chemicals and solvents as well, so it's ideal for like harsh environments. So, really great design, and that's backed by lifetime warranty from 4. Uh, as for itself, so, in its name, the F4i, it has four pressure ports. Um, so, overall, there's five ports. On any of 4's regulators, the return is always on the bottom. That is not a pressure port. That's for the bypass fuel to return to the tank. There's a 10 orb port. And from there, you can step it down to whatever size. Uh, and ORB stands for O-ring boss, so no thread sealing is needed. It is a straight thread with an O-ring, Viton O-ring, safe for all fuels. And there's the return with a 6A and male adapter. But you can do 10, 8, 6, whatever you need for your flow rate, your setup. Um, so that's your return port, and then the four pressure ports like I noticed. Now, two are 10, 10 orb, 10 A and orb, and two are eight. So the ones on the far sides, so you got 10, eight, eight, and 10. All right, so those are your four pressure ports. So from the pumps, from the tank, you can come in and then out to rails and any kind of configuration you want. There's a lot of flexibility with this regulator. Um, and most common times guys step up to this one is when they're running, they won't trying to run a full 10 a and feed. You know, you're making a lot of flow, a lot of power, triple pump setup. Uh, you'll come in, well, depending on how you're set up. If you're going to the rails first, um, you know, your 10 a and line to your rails or however you have it set up. Um, and then use the 10 a and pressure ports and then whatever size return you need. Um, or guys will run it in a, uh, the next popular way is a, is a deadhead or where the regulator is before the rails. Um, and so you can run a feed in, you know, whatever size you want. 
So uh, these are 10 orb. Here's one of their fittings uh, for a 10 a in feed. And then you could also adapt to a 8 a in whatever size your feed line was or 6 a in or whatever. But if you're using this guy, you're likely using 8A in or 10A in lines. Um, so a common setup for bypass or deadhead uh, is where you feed. So in this case, we'll say we got a 10A in feed and plug the other 10 in port, and then we'll go like 8A and out and dead end into, the, into each rail. Or if you're going to stock rails, uh, you could run like a single line out, like a 10A and out. Uh, to adapt to stock rails or an 8A and out, whatever you had, or 8A and in and plug the other ones. Look, lot, lots of options. Um, uh, yeah, so that's how it's most commonly used. Um, one thing to note about this regulator uh, over the F1I and F2I is there's no um, 1 8 MPT gauge port like. Uh, He's got on his other ones, and that's just because there's no room with all these fittings on the body. So the top is where the spring, the diaphragm is, and valve and all that's in there. And this is where fuel, like there's no fuel in the top half of this, but so it would have to come off the body and there just wasn't room. So uh, your options are running a fitting that has an MPT port if you want to put a little mechanical gauge or even a, a electrical sender to measure fuel pressure when you're setting it. And for as lots of options, they have these billet fittings, uh, swivel straight fittings. They have 8A and plug uh, fittings that have a 1 8th MPT port for a gauge or something. Uh, so you have that. Uh, and then it comes with your um, your boost vac, little barb fitting uh, for your one-to-one -one reference. So, uh, your inject the pressure will compensate for engine vacuum and boost. So, uh, and it's one to one, like I said. So, that'll run to your vacuum line. Now, you want to make sure this line to the engine, uh, to the manifold, is as short as possible. And you always want to make sure mount your regulator as close to the rails as possible uh, for the most accuracy in compensation and pressure. The less distance, the better. Um, so all these ports are orb, with the exception of this one. This is a standard NPT. So you're going to need thread sealant on that. Other than that, none of the other ports require any thread sealant. Uh, it uses the, the orb style fittings. Um, and the, the sealant 4 recommends is Loctite 567, high pressure and temperature, Teflon, liquid Teflon. Uh, you could use Teflon tape, but... I use this. I like it a lot for recommended. Uh, that's good enough for me. Alright, so that's that. And that's the basic of it. It does come with a steel bracket. Um, and you can get access to the mounting holes. Uh, you can do it a number of ways. If you don't need the bracket, you can take the bracket off. Um, you can use an adapter to like put a regulator right on the end of a rail or, or whatever you want. Uh, there's lots of options. And 4 has lots of different fittings to plummet how you like. Uh, I think that is about it. Safe for all fuel types. One of the best regulators on the market in my opinion. Lifetime warranty. Good design. So, yeah, there's the F4i regulator. Um, pretty much all I have to say about it. Uh, if you need a deadhead or you're going to 10 a.m. or looking for a serious regulator for big power, this is this is what you want. So, it's a good choice. So, uh, if your Mustang uses fuel, fuel or you, you know someone that does, uh, check us out at SNH Performance. All right, thanks.